Hello, Facebook world. This is Maya, also known as Naturally Jaded and Cincy on Instagram, Harmony Renee on Facebook. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. And I also want to say like and subscribe. And if you are currently on Facebook, please join my Facebook group for the love of handbags. And I will link the um, group below. It is for the love is a red heart of handbags. So I am coming to you with a informational video. I received today this beautiful Coach NASA wallet. And I am presenting it with my stone blue Cassie uh, that I just received this week. Um, and I am only um, posting the Cassie as a comparison for the leathers. So I purchased this item and I was a little on the fence about whether this item was authentic or not. So I reached out to Melissa Purse and we started comparing some things. So some things were off, but um, it was like a 50-50 where some things were not matching up to her beautiful set because she does own an authentic uh, Coach Nassau Rogue with the matching wallets, which is why I reached out to her. She, um, so again, her name is Melissa Purse here on Instagram. And I'm sure if you are watching my channel, you are well aware of who Melissa Purse is. Uh, so um, she and I got to talking and I said, you know what, I, I'm on, you know, it's 50 50. I'm on the fence on whether this is authentic or not. I'm going to buy it. Reached out to the seller, asked a few questions. The seller, um, she ensured me that the item was 100% authentic, even stated that she went into the coach store, had them authenticate the wallet. They said that it was authentic. So I said, okay. So I received the wallet today. And if you look at the leather on this wallet, which I'm not 100% sure if it is real leather, it feels like real leather. And if you look at it, which is why now you'll know why I have the Cassie in a um, photo, the leather, leather is extremely, um, I mean, it's soft, it's supple. It, it is exactly like the Cassie, which we all know the Cassie is not uh, glove tan leather. It is the polished pebble leather. And this wallet is supposed to be the Glove 10 Pebble Leather. So one, that is a giveaway that this may not be authentic. So I'm going to zoom in. If you look at the patches, these are authentic patches. The Moon Man, he is. He has the glitter on it, like um, Melissa Purse stated, um, to look for when you are looking for the nasa collection because the nasa collection is highly counterfeited it is an extremely popular collection and it is a hard to find collection so a lot of times when these items pop up we rush to buy them because we know um it may be a while before we see them again so looking at the back the patches look look fine so yeah the stitching um on the saturn um, patch is a little is a little iffy if you look close but I know I've <laughs> I've come in contact with a few um, items that I know are that are authentic where um, the stitching has been like not the best uh, we know sometimes quality control is, is not done on some of these items and they reach the population and you know they end up being returned or those are the items that end up um, being sent off to the outlet and sold for less. So, um, so looking at the wallet, the first thing that I, uh, started questioning was the leather, the leather. It's, it feels like leather. It's soft. It feels nice. It has a leather smell. Now it doesn't have that glove tan leather smell. And I even, um, pulled out, um, one of my 1941, um, envelope wristlets today. And it, it's, it's new with tags, but in which this wallet is supposed to be new with tags and it's been in plastic. So when I pull it out, like you can smell the glove tan leather. I love the smell of glove tan leather, leather and Florentine, but you can definitely, it doesn't matter how old it is. You can smell the glove tan leather. This does not smell like anything. So I started inspecting the item and if you search the authentic uh, wallet, which I did, and I um, not only found um, the photos from Melissa extremely helpful, I searched on the resale sites and I was able to locate one that I knew was authentic. And 
on that one if you look at the rainbows so you can see how there are grooves there are lines to um separate each rainbow color but if you look at this wallet the colors kind of bleed over that line and on the authentic wallet it is it's perfect like they are there's no bleeding there's no blending they are totally separated so boom that's my second giveaway leather and then i look at this patch and i'm like that patch just doesn't look right so then i go and i start inspecting and i look at the zipper so this item is a part of the coach 1941 line um, and on the zipper pull, it says Coach New York. And it's not a good, um, it's not, and it's not a good stamp. It, you can barely um, tell what York says. It, it really looks like Y-O-O-K. But this item should definitely say Coach 1941. So another giveaway is the zipper um it's this is more of it's not the correct color um melissa purse her set is more like a like an antique brass um whereas this is uh, it would be more like a, a black copper uh and then also so then you go to the coach stamp that says genuine glove tan pebble leather if you look at any of your genuine um, glove tan pebble leather items or even just the genuine glove tan leather, this this is actually stamped. So it is, it's actually stamped, it's embossed in there. Whereas this is, it's like a sticker. So it's, it's basically just a foil sticker. It's not embossed, it's not stamped in. Um, if you rub your finger on it, you won't even be able to tell it's there. Whereas, um, and when I, when I say embossed, it's just like how it is on the patch. That is exactly how the glove tan leather should be. It should be stamped in there so you can actually feel it. Um, so, and then, then going into the Creed, if you notice the Creed, it does say 1941 on here. So I do know, um, from talking with Melissa that a lot of the counterfeit ones that were out, like, a few years ago and some recently they um, had Disney on it so it was as if this was a Disney collaboration and we all know that NASA it it's not Disney so that was a major giveaway that the items were counterfeit but if you were someone who is not um, knowledgeable of coach items this coach 1941 this stamp it looks great it looks perfect the writing on it um, and it says the the correct uh, wording is on the creed so you would assume so I got to thinking about it and um, Melissa was um, nice enough to share what the style number was so I actually googled this style number and the item that came up is definitely not the accordion wallet so we all know you can't go by the internet 100 percent. i know you know most of the times it is true so i um called a coach store and what i did was i just said hey you know i have a style number um can you please look this up for me i want to see if you have an item available she said sure so i gave her the style number 25591 i believe it's 25591 yes 25591 and she says, oh, yes, um, it is a cross grain wristlet. And I said, yeah. She said, yes, it has the wristlet strap. And then there's um, some that comes with the crossbody strap. And I said, yes, the Nolita. And she said, yes, it's for the cross grain Nolita wristlet. So this style number that is in this accordion style wallet is for a Nolita a cross grain Nolita, which we all know if you're um, familiar with Coach, is a wristlet, not an accordion wallet. It is a small wristlet um, and it is not uh, glove tan leather. It is a cross grain leather, which is um, similar to what the Cassie is. So I wanted to do this video because I wanted to um, make the community aware that yes there are still 
counterfeit items of this collection that are floating around and they are getting extremely good with these counterfeit items. If you were someone who just saw this and thought, oh, that's a pretty wallet. And if you did a search for a Coach NASA wallet, this wallet looks just like the um, the authentic one, except for those uh, small few uh, giveaways that I um, reported in the video. So just be aware, if, even if everything else is correct on this on your wallet, look up the style number because nine times out of 10, they do not put the correct style number or there are just small, small things um, that give it away. Because if it wasn't for Melissa, I would have accepted this wallet um, because of the feel and the look of it. Um, I did not think to look up the style number until I had to go back and forth with the seller on trying to return the item. And I even took a picture of the zipper that states New York and commented that, you know, on all of my Coach New York items, because um, I have a few of the um, accessories with the border rivets that match my border rivets rogue that are a part of the New York line. So they have the uh, the zipper pull is stamped with the New York. And when you look at it, it is, even though it's extremely small, you can read it easily. Whereas on this zipper tape, it's, it's not, um, it's not as defined. And so I was questioning the craftsmanship, not the fact that it doesn't say 1941. That actually slipped my mind that it should not say New York. It should say 1941. And I didn't even think of that until, um, Melissa actually sent me a photo of hers showing the 1941. So, I mean, there, I know there's a market for the counterfeit items. Um, there are people who don't mind. I mean, if that was not the case, then we wouldn't have all, you know, the Louis Vuittons and the, um, coach items and the vintage Doonies floating the market. Um, I do not do counterfeit items. Um, I am one of those people that I feel like if it's an item that I can't afford, the authentic item, then I just, I don't need it. And I'm not knocking anyone who's okay with counterfeit items, um, but it is illegal. And I just, I, I mean, I just would prefer to have the authentic item. So again, I'm going to just go in and show, um, other than that patch, that is the stitching on that patch that's on the back. And you can see right here, there is a little um, paint that should not be there. Um, this wallet, I mean, it looks great. It looks beautiful. It looks authentic. Um, they got, and like I said before, the glitter, and I don't know if you can see it. You can kind of see it there. That's not grain. It's actually glitter on the Moon Man. And I know on some of the counterfeit items, um, including the Rogue, they missed that. They actually got it right here. Um, here is where the stitching is bad. But if looking at this wallet, that is the only place on this wallet that has horrible stitching. And if you look at this area, the words are raised. They're not raised as much as the authentic one, but they even got that down. The fact that they have the we come is raised, but then in peace isn't. So... Whomever did this counterfeit wallet, they did an extremely good job. And I am sure there are people out there who have been bamboozled by this. So I did want to go ahead and put out an informational video so that hopefully none of us in our community is tricked by this. It is a beautiful wallet. And now that I have had this in my hands, I want it even more, which is horrible because I know it's a hard to find item and I probably will not find it, but I'm just going to put it out there. I, I hope to find this and also find the matching rogue. Um, so I hope, hope, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. And again, I will link my other um, social media accounts down below. If you have any questions or any requests, um, let me know. I will be trying to do more videos. I am new to the YouTube um, community as far as um, submitting content. So 
I'm trying to become more comfortable with this. Uh, but I did. This was one that I knew I just had I had to do. There are a lot of us who are collectors. And so that we um, search the resale sites and um, private uh, sellers for these hard to find items. And I know that the NASA collection is definitely one of the most popular items. I am a NASA fan myself. And if you go on my Instagram page, Naturally Jaded and Sensi, you will see that I have my own little NASA collection that I have just um, acquired. Um, so just, you know, I hope, I hope, I hope this helps. Um, I enjoy doing this video. And if I come across any more like this, I will definitely post because I want to help everyone out there um, avoid these situations. So I am still currently waiting to hear back. Um, on if they're going to allow me to rent, return this item. I don't see why they would deny it considering it's a counterfeit item, but you know, I am currently fighting with the seller about returning this item. Um, again, if you have any questions, comment below and everyone have a great day.